In this video, I want to talk about a Stanford Business School experiment that blew my mind. It's 4.45 a.m. Let's get cold. Ooh. Always dunk. Ooh. So a Stanford Business School professor split her class into three groups and gave each group $5 and two hours to make the highest return on that initial five dollars to turn that five into the most money possible. At the end, they would get to do a presentation on how they achieved the ROI that they did. The first group did what I would consider the most obvious thing, which is they kind of bartered. They took the five dollars, they bought something, then they tried to trade that for something of slightly more value, and so on and so forth. They made a decent return. The second group, realized that the five dollars was mostly a distraction and really what they had was two hours to make as much money as possible so they went out and got really in-demand restaurant reservations and then sold them to people who wanted those so they waited in line got the reservations and then sold them and they made a great return on the initial five dollars but the final group was the smartest one and what the final group did was they thought completely differently about the problem. They too realized that the $5 was a distraction. They also thought very clearly about what the most valuable asset was that they had. It wasn't the two hours of time to come up with the answer. It was the presentation at the end. They realized that a 30 minute presentation in front of a class of Stanford Business School students was really, really valuable as advertising time. So they called a bunch of local companies and offered up their presentation slot as an ad slot to talk about those local companies in front of the entire class. Those companies paid up at great rates and that group made an astronomical return on the initial $5. There's a real lesson in there for business, for your money making journey and for life, which is if you want to achieve asymmetric outcomes, meaning the outcomes that are not linear, they're not the outcomes that are just kind of like the next step. It's the thing that leaps you off the page to the totally next level. You have to think differently about the problem that you're facing. You can't think in the exact same way that everyone else has and achieve those asymmetric outcomes. Now, it's important to note that you don't always have to achieve asymmetric outcomes. Sometimes the boring linear basics are the right answer. For instance, with investments and with your financial security and achieving financial freedom through basic investments, you don't want to actually spend all of your time thinking about the asymmetric outcome and thinking about how to outperform. You want to just do the boring basics with those. But when you're building a business, if you're trying to achieve the unicorn outcome, build a billion dollar business, go and change the world, go and do something remarkable, memorable, you have to think differently in order to do that. So if you're taking your big swing, consider that question. How am I thinking differently than how everyone else is thinking about this problem? Elon Musk is famous for this with SpaceX in particular and the whole idea of first principles thinking, the idea that you have to break down a really complex problem to first principles, break it down to it's elemental base. Like what are the core assumptions that other people have made about this problem that are incorrect? And how can I think differently about those? In his case, why was everyone wrong about why it cost so much to build and send rockets to space? What were the questions that needed to be asked that would allow you to fundamentally change the way that rockets are made, the way that rockets are launched, and achieve much, much better outcomes? So that is thinking differently. That's asking the elemental, fundamental questions to break down the problem and to get to a solution that is fundamentally going to drive a higher likelihood of those asymmetric outcomes. Something to think about on your business entrepreneurial journey. How are you thinking differently? Audience question of the day from SJ Blue asked about developing wisdom at a young age. I think the idea that wisdom is 
related to age in the first place is sort of flawed. It's basically because those people that are older tend to have had more time to reflect on their experiences. And that's sort of how you develop wisdom, which is on the basis of experiences you've had and then reflecting on them. Usually older people have spent more time in the reflecting. When you're young, you're too busy doing. You're just doing tons of stuff constantly. You're running, running, running around, and you forget to reflect on those experiences, which is where you would develop the wisdom. I spend a lot of time reflecting. Um, it's what I enjoy. I enjoy considering the human experience, my own experiences, other people's experiences, and thinking about what did I learn from that, and how can I get better through that, and how might other people have struggled with that that I can help support on the way. So. As you think about building wisdom, as you think about your own experiences, spend a little bit more time reflecting than you otherwise have been, and you'll find a lot of interesting insights come as a result. That's all for today. Remember, learn to think differently about problems if you want to achieve those asymmetric outcomes in your life, in your business, in your entrepreneurial journey, whatever. As always, until next time, everybody, let's get cold.